क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स वाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फंक्शन सीक्वल सर्वर अकॉर्डिंग टू द सर्च रिजल्ट सीक्वल सर्वर सपोर्ट्स वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ फंक्शन हेयर आर सब एग्जाम्पल नंबर वन सिस्टम फंक्शन दीज फंक्शन परफॉर्म ऑपरेशन एंड रिटर्न इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट वैल्यूज ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड सेटिंग इन एन इंस्टेंस ऑफ सीक्वल सर्वर दे इंक्लूड टेक्सट एंड इमेज फंक्शन मैथमेटिकल फंक्शन एंड स्टेटिस्टिकल फंक्शन इमोंग अदर्स to scalar functions these functions operate on a single value and return a single value examples of scalar functions include the abs functions which return the absolute value of a number and the rand function which returns a random float value between 0 and 1 systems third system scalar function these are a type of scalar functions that return information about sql server system such as current date or time or the name of current user example of system scalar function include current user function which return the name of current user in sql server database and the version function which return version of sql server that is running In addition to these types of functions, SQL Server also support table valued functions, which return a table as their result set, and aggregate functions which perform calculation on a set of values and return a single value as a result. Question number twenty-seven. What is a trigger in SQL Server? A trigger is a database object in SQL Server that is similar to a stored procedure, and is executed automatically when an event occurs in the database there are different types of triggers that can be created in sql server such as dml triggers tdl triggers and logon triggers dml triggers also known as data manipulation likewise triggers are fired when a dml dml event occurs such as inserting updating or deleting in a table on the other hand tdl triggers or data definition language triggers are fired on ddl events such as creating altering or dropping tables stored procedures or views logon triggers as the name suggests are fired when user logs into a sql server instance triggers can be useful in a variety of scenarios such as auditing changes to database schema or preventing changes to the database schema question number 28 why do we need triggers triggers are a powerful feature in sql structured query language that can automate the execution of code when an event occurs in a database the main purpose purpose of triggers is to ensure that a certain piece of code is always executed in response to a specific event guaranteeing that the event will not fail to trigger the code they are especially especially useful when you are not in immediate control of both the code and the database allowing you to enforce business rules and complex constraint in the database triggers can be used to automate a wide range of database operations such as uh, data validation auditing logging synchronization they can be defined to execute before or after a specific event such as insert update or delete operation on a table and can be created at database level or table level in summary triggers in sql are used to automate the execution of code when a specific event occurs in a database they are powerful and useful tools for enforcing business rules and complex constraint and for automating a wide range of database operations such as data validation auditing logging and synchronization question number 29 what are the different types of triggers there are two types of triggers in sql row level triggers and statement level triggers row level triggers execute once for each affected row by an update statement where is statement level triggers execute only once for each sql statement regardless of number of rows being affected 
triggers are a special type of stored procedure in SQL Server that are automatically executed when a DDL or DML command related to trigger is executed and they are used to assess or evaluate data before or after data modification. Triggers can include any number and type of transact SQL statements and are designed to check or change data based on a data modification or definition statement but they should not return data to user. What is a view in database? A view in a database is a stored query that returns a result set. It can also refer to result set itself. Views are used to simplify the querying process by hiding the complexity of underlying tables or other views. A view can be created by writing a query and saving it as view in database. To use a view, one queries it like any other table, but the difference is that a view is a query itself. SQL Server provides different types of views to serve special special purpose in a database such as indexed views that have been materialized and in text view is a view that has its result set stored as physical table indexed views can significantly improve query performance for some types of queries especially those that aggregate data from multiple tables overall views provide a convenient way to access and retrieve data because it is easier to run a query stored in a view than to type a query that joins multiple tables.